What's up, guys? It's the Warrior COTP here, back with another My DVD Collection, Part 43. Now, this will be the last part of my regular movies. Uh, then, after this, it will be nothing but kids' movies, and then it will be some Christmas movies, and that will complete my DVD movie collection. But, okay, we'll get started. Uh, so, first off, we got a snap case of Risky Business with Tom Cruise. This is a 80s classic. If you've never seen it, I would definitely check it out. Pretty good movie. And I usually leave this up here if you're new to the channel so you can pause it and read it if you wish. If not, jot down the music on to, or the movie onto a piece of paper and check out the trailer on YouTube. Next, we got The Rock and Shaw and William Scott in The Rundown. Now, I would say back in the day, you can't really say it's a classic, but it probably is reaching about that 20-year mark that this has been made, I'm guessing. I think. But a uh, great movie. Next, we got Inception. Now, I've never seen this movie before, but it has all these actors at the top in it. One I really recognize is Michael Keane. Say like Leonardo DiCaprio is in it. Yeah, he's in it too. Christopher Nolan. I think that movie was given to me. But uh, I do like Leonardo DiCaprio. I think he's a good actor. Next, we got Robin Williams, Matt Damon, Ben Affleck, Mini Driver, and the classic Goodwill Hunting. Next, we have an 80s classic. What 80s collection is an 80s collection without Footloose? With Kevin Bacon. John Lithgow is in it too. It's actually been a while since I've seen this movie. Next, we have a movie called Flash Genius, and this is based on a true story. Now, this is also a movie, I'm pretty sure, uh, a friend gave to me. Put that right there, see if you guys can read it. I've never seen it myself, so... Couldn't really tell you much what it's about. Just like this movie, Flashbacks. Uh, this was given off to also, also to me by a friend. Um, you know, he gave me a lot of movies. I didn't keep all of them. I asked him if he wanted them back. Um, he said no, so um, I ended up throwing them away. Which I look back, I should have just donated them. Daniel Craig was in that. That's why I kept that. If it didn't look interesting to me. I pretty much didn't keep it. Next, we got Sean Connery and Finding Forrester. Now, I remember seeing this back in the day. This was a really good movie. Definitely liked it a lot. And just like the other movies, I think he gave me that. It's like this movie, Rampage, with Woody Harrelson, Ned Beatty, Ben Foster, Ice Cube's in it, Robin Wright, Steve Buscemi. 
Now, I've never seen this, but uh, definitely looks like a pretty cool movie. I like Woody Harrelson a lot, so definitely something if I saw streamable, I would watch. Now, this movie, uh, Extremely Loud and cre Incredibly Close, I got this from the Dollar Tree. As you can see, it's still on open. Never seen it before, but Tom Hanks is usually in good movies. Next, we got Al Pacino and Dog Day Afternoon. Now, I'm pretty sure I got this off of eBay. Next, we got George Clooney and the Descendants. Now, I think this movie was my wife's, a part of my wife's collection. I'm not sure. Pretty sure it was, though. Next, we got The Departed. Pretty sure my friend gave me this. With Leonardo DiCaprio, Matt Damon, Jack Nicholson, and Mark Wahlberg. This is like a, I think, a Irish Mafia movie, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, Martin Scorsese, best film since Goodfellas. I know it's a classic. Uh, I think I have seen it once before, I can't remember. Definitely something I would watch if I saw it streamable or if somebody wanted to watch it. Next, we got Brad Pitt and Kate Blanchett and The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. And this is from Second Avenue. Never seen this movie. Next, <clears throat> sorry. Next, we got Tom Hanks and the Green Mile. This is definitely one of my top favorite Tom Hanks movies. Uh, I got probably about at least 10 Tom Hanks movies I really like. This is definitely one of them. Great movie, if you've never seen it. Kind of long. It's an awesome story. sad movie too next we got Josh Brolin from the Goonies and the movie W I think this is about George Bush uh, this was definitely my wife's movie next we got Denzel Washington and Chris Pine in Unstoppable. And this was from Second Avenue. Never seen it before. But uh, this was, I know me and my wife got a bunch of movies from uh, Second Avenue back in the day. And she grabbed a bunch of movies that she watched before that she liked too. So I'm sure... She probably grabbed that and picked that up. But I like Denzel Washington's movies, so win-win. Uh, Next, we got The Queen. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is a slide case, too. Uh, I'm pretty sure I bought this from uh, Habitat Restore back in the day. For like 50 cent or a dollar. Next... Um, I know this 
movie either people love it or hate it gets a bunch of crap and let's be honest it's just because it's a love story uh titanic with um Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet. Uh, I will be honest, uh, since this movie came out back when it was on VHS, I've always liked this movie. It's a historic movie. Um, it's probably not, the story's probably not 100% uh, historic or nothing, but um, it's a good movie. I don't care what anyone says, I like it. Um, you know, I got I got a little soft side to me and I'll tell you what, it's a good uh, romance movie. It's definitely something I would sit down and watch with my wife and be more than happy to watch with her. Uh, next, we got Tim Robbins and Morgan Freeman in the all-time classic prison movie, The Shawshank Redemption. Yeah, I got real happy saying that. This is a great movie. Now, supposedly this movie, when it first came out, was not that big of a deal. Um, it was big enough a deal to some people, but over time it just got more and more of a classic. Um, the next, you got The Other Side of Heaven. Christopher Gorham and Anne Hathaway. Walt Disney movie. Now, I've never seen this movie. Looks good, though. Next, we got The Contender. And this is Gary Oldman and Christian Slater. I know my friend from work gave me this a long time ago. He was basically getting away or giving away most of his DVD collection except for his favorite favorites. And uh, that was part of them. Next, we got The Great Gatsby. I think this is another movie he ended up giving me. Next, we got The Rain Man. And I'm pretty sure he gave me this too. Dustin Hoffman and Tom Cruise. Then I got Free Willy. The original Free Willy, unopened. Now, I'm pretty sure I got this from the Dollar Tree. If I remember correctly. I was pretty happy to find it. Uh, next, we got the Ides of March. Ryan Gosling, uh, George Clooney, Philip Seymour Hoffman, Marissa Tomei, Jeff Wright, even Rachel Wood. Never seen this. Uh, I'm pretty sure my friend from work gave me this too. I pretty much like opened up every movie, made sure it was all right because there was a lot of scratch movies I threw away they gave me. I made sure the movie was all right and made sure it looked like something I'd want. I didn't waste my time uh, keeping nothing that I didn't feel was worth uh, keeping. Next, we have Delusionist. And it's Edward Norton. Jessica Beale's in it. And this is also a slide case. And just like most of these other movies that are in this pile, I'm pretty sure my friend gave it to me. Next, we got The New World. Colin Farrell. Christopher Plummer, Christian Bale, and don't know how to say that name. Looks pretty good. It looks like maybe like the time of uh, like Pocahontas Pilgrims. 
And I'm pretty sure my friend gave me this. Next, we got Les Miserables. Uh, this is with Hugh Jackman and uh, Russell Crowe. And this is also a slide case. And I'll tell you what, uh, this movie, in which I think my friend gave me this too, um, this movie, I will tell you right now, I love the Les Miserables movies. And you think with this star-studded cast, I would like this, but no. Come to find out, it's a musical. And me and my wife watched it together, and she didn't tell me that. And I don't know, I just couldn't get down with it. I will tell you this, I will watch it again one day. Hopefully, I see the the three winners of academy globe awards in it best picture um i'll have to give it another um chance but yeah i love less miserable movies that i've seen throughout the decades or from the different decades but this one i was not a big fan of but like i said it has a star-studded cast so you know I don't know. I wouldn't tell anybody to cancel it out. You might like it. Next, we got Monster Ball with Billy Bob Thornton, Holly Berry, and Heath Ledger. Classic movie. This was also another movie that my friend gave me. Next, we got Nothing But The Truth. Kate Beckinsale, Matt Dillon, Another movie my friend gave me. I feel like out of all the movies he gave me, I, I, I found a few gems. And then there was other movies he gave me that I already had that were gems. And I ended up giving them to, like, my brother-in-law. So, um, but yeah, here's another movie, uh, Pollock. With uh, Val Kilmer, Jennifer Connelly, uh, and Ed Harris is in it. I love Ed Harris. So, I was more than happy to take this from my friend when he gave it to me. Definitely looks like a good movie. But, uh, at any rate, guys, that will do it for this um my dvd collection part 43 um next i will have the kids movies and then after the kids movies i got some christmas movies which as you see if, if you've been watching my collection i had a bunch of other christmas movies i've put in my collection that i did not have room on the front space so basically these are like uh beginning of my collection movies a lot of these movies that you're going to see as far as the kids movies and the christmas collection it'll be like uh when i first started collecting uh you know within the first two years but at any rate guys uh if you're new to the channel and you got this far and you liked the video i guess you did if you made it this far hit the like button subscribe uh go back and watch my other videos if you've been watching um hauls and stuff and in, in my collection i appreciate it uh till the next time peace out